Hi, Pipe Smokers. This is Paul, the Pipe Guy, live from the outskirts of Rochester, New York. Yeah. And I uh, wanted to do a little video on uh, a tobacco that I really, really love. All right, I'll turn my head around so you can see my face a little better. Aren't I beautiful? <laughs> Anyways, it's uh, 8.40, 40 minutes after the hour. Eastern Standard Time in upstate New York. Yeah. And today is, yes, 9-14-2022. And I know that because my Pipes and cig uh, Cigars calendar says that it's 9-14. Yeah. It's currently 63 degrees outside. We had a beautiful sunny day today. Yeah. And uh, so... Uh, we're going to get right to it, you know. Um, I haven't smoked this in a while. Um, what we're going to be smoking, and I, I want to show you what we're going to be smoking first before I show you what we're going to be smoking it out of. Yeah, because, you know, whatever. So, uh, <clears throat> actually, what we're smoking is, um, it's by Cornell and Deal. It's called... Captain Earl's 10 Russians. Not to be confused what's going on in the Ukraine or anything. I love this nautical blend, all right? And um, here's what they have to say about it, all right? Uh, well, first of all, here's what's in it. Uh, it's an English blend, and it's by Cornell and Deal. And it has uh, Cavendish, uh, Latakia, Oriental, Oriental slash Turkish, and Virginia. Yeah. And uh, I like uh, all of those things, you know. So here's what they say about the blend. And by the way, uh, this is the blend right here. You can see it's, and they say it has Cavendish in it, but it's probably black Cavendish and then Latakia. So, uh, probably there's a small amount of Cavendish in it and it's a crumble cake. And I would have to say by the taste of this, it's probably 40 to 50% Latakia. And I love Latakia. Hmm. The smell is unbelievable. Um, I can, I can smell the uh, Cavendish. They say it has Cavendish, but it's probably black Cavendish. Definitely smell the Latakia. Uh, slight hint of the Oriental uh, slash Turkish and. Yeah, you can see the Virginias in there. They're the lighter ones, you know. So we're going to put this back because I don't want it to dry out, okay? Now, the uh, so what I do when, because uh, I love my tin art, all right? I do. I love my tin art. So, you know, I mean, I could have put this in a mason jar or whatever, but I did not. And so what I do is I put it in a freezer bag, squeeze all the air out of it, make sure she's sealed up nice and pretty, all right? And then she goes back in the tin. Now, here's what Cornell and Dill has to say about uh, this blunt. Um, ten Russians is a true delight for lovers of Latakia. Uh, rich, full-bodied, 10 Russians, uh, is pressed uh, to deliver a perfectly, bear with me, balanced blend of true aficionado of full English tobacco. Inspired by the true story, supposedly a true story, uh, of Captain Earl's rescue of 10 Russians marooned in a sandpan 
in the Sea of Japan. And that's what they, that's what Cornell and Deal says about it. We're going to take a break. We'll be right back in a nanosecond. And yeah, there's Kelly the killer calico cat. Yeah. She's like sleeping all through this. She's like, I don't know, she turned one on uh, August 1st of this year. And uh, we're in uh, to the date that I said before. But uh, we're going to take a break and we'll be right back and review this tobacco. Yes. All right, it's Paul the Pipe Guy back. Yeah, live from the outskirts of Rochester, New York, and upstate New York in the United States of America. And um, so we're going to smoke this blend. I've already described uh, Captain Earl's 10 Russians, and I do have a few tins of this. And the born on date on this, which I love about Cornell and Deal is uh, 9 23 of 2020. So this was packaged almost two years ago. I believe I opened it up uh, within two months after that. So it's had time to age. So yeah. Uh, and the pipe that we're going to smoke it out of. Oh my gosh, look at that. This is the Everyman London pipe. And it's kind of like a, I guess you would consider it a tankard pipe. Uh, it's a bowl number uh, 588, and it's made by Kamois. Yeah. And uh, this is a vintage pipe that I purchased. There's no factory fills or anything. It's just gorgeous. Let's get some light on this. Yeah. Just gorgeous. I mean, look at that briar. It's flawless, all right? And, uh, you know, uh, what I do is uh, I do use, um, I do have it around here somewhere, yeah. Uh, I do use uh, Decatur Pipe Shield and uh, to polish my pipes and so forth. And, uh, you know, look at that briar. That, what a beautiful shape. It's not a nine millimeter. We're not doing a pipe review here. You know, that's what you got right there. All right. So let's light something on fire. Yeah. Can't wait. I don't know how old this pipe is, but it's a great pipe. Mm. Let's start it on fire. Mm. Oh my gosh. It's crumble cake. Mm. Charlite. Then we have our tamper thanks to uh, Mark Hill. Yeah, thank you, Mark. Got a nice little Charlite going on there. Now, this is when you taste the flavor. Mm. Oh my gosh. Now, you have to remember that this is aged. When you first open a tin of something, I mean, when the oxygen hits it and so forth, that's when she really starts to age. Mm. I can taste a hint of the Cavendish. Mmm. The Latakia intertwines perfectly with the Oriental, Turkish, and Virginia. 
just what a beautiful balanced blend. Cornell and Deal does a great job. I can definitely taste all the flavors. But since it's aged and not just fresh out of the tin, they've all kind of blended together. They've, you know, oxygen has hit them. I love Latakia blends. So what I'm tasting right now... It's not a Latakia bomb. If I had to guess, it's probably about 40% Latakia. And, you know, a little black Cavendish. That goes a long way. And the rest would be um, probably an even mixture of uh, Virginia's and Oriental slash Turkish. Mm. What a great smoke. Mm. And out of this Kamois pipe, just un. Believable. Mm. Oh. The Latakia just tends to just bring you down and relax you. For those of you that like English Latakia blends, I, I own a few tins of this, all right? And uh, like I said, this one's been aging for a couple of years. This would definitely be a great after-dinner smoke or something that you want to jumpstart your day with. I know my tobacco reviews are long. I'm long-winded. You know, I'm Paul the pipe guy, you know. Mm. God bless the queen, and long live the king. Yes, Brad, I'm clenching. Check out uh, Brad the Bearded Piper. Awesome man. Only lives a few hours from me in Pennsylvania. Well, this is so good. It's making my mouth water. I think the nicotine content on this uh, is probably medium to somewhat higher. Because I can feel it. Mm. What a great smoke. Mm. Uh. Adam Park, where you been? I'm about ready to start hiccuping because I'm getting a serious nick hit off of this. Two. 
we got to clear the palate. Anyways, one bush beer here. Cheers. Ooh. Oh, yeah. And we have our beautiful Neroli and white sand candle going right next to me. Oh, my gosh. The room note on this is really, really good. So, in retrospect, uh, yeah, um, Captain Earl's 10 Russians. If you like an English blend that is Latakia rich, I think you would enjoy this. And I've already stated why. With that said, we're going to end the video because it's like 9 o'clock and I have to be up at 5 a.m. Anyways, I'm Paul the Pipe Guy, still alive, from the outskirts, I'm getting the hiccups, of Rochester, New York. Thank you all for tuning in. If you like my channel, share it with your friends, hit the little bell. <clears throat> the subscribe button and the bell, you know, so you get that. Uh, I've kind of screwed off all summer, you know. I've done a lot of music videos and stupid stuff, but we're going to take the torque wrench and we're going to put it up to the side of my head and we're going to go like this. Yeah. And we're going to dial in on more pipe videos and less music videos. How's that sound, ladies and gentlemen? Ah, there I torqued my head down to about 60 pounds. 60 foot pounds. Whatever. <laughs> Paul the Pipe Guy, hope you enjoyed this video. And, uh... May the queen rest in peace and, you know, God save the king for those of you in the UK that'll see this tomorrow morning. And uh, Mark, Mark Hill, where you been? Adam Park, where you been? The pipe smoker, what do you think? Anyways, I gotta go. I talk too much. Hope you enjoyed the video. I love Captain Earl's 10 Russians. Yeah, and I told you why. Over and out.